Uh, now we have a very special s- segment that we like to bring to you at the end of the show called Carpool Kids. Okay, this is where we like to focus on the kids who are in the car. And uh, it's okay, Shelly. Shelly doesn't have the camera on me. You can go check us out at channelmom.com where we videotape the show. This is the section where we want to focus on the kids. So I bring in two girls, Kaylee and Georgia Grace, to tell kids about events, activities, things that they would like to do. And mom can turn off the radio for them. So go ahead. Go ahead, Kaylee. A water fight is a great way to end the summer. At least while it's still hot outside, that is. You can still cool off with the water, but parents don't have to pay the price of sending their kids to the water park for a day, which could be very expensive. It's a win-win situation, isn't it? So call up your friends and prepare for an epic water battle to enjoy the final countdown of these fast-ending summer days. So you would literally advise people to have an invitation for a water fight where they would get out the hoses and the buckets and everything, right? Is that what you're saying? And you can water your yard at the same time. Awesome. <laughs> Great idea, Kaylee. What about you, Georgia? It's summer, so th- the kids have a lot of extra time on their hands. This sound familiar, moms? Mommy, what should me and Bob do? Whether it's comedy or drama, kids love movies. So why not make uh, make a fun night out of it? Round up the kids, pets, and maybe even friends, and enjoy the special evening, and maybe even throw in a late night snack. But remember, kids, it's a movie night, not a movie marathon. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just suggesting they invite people over for a movie night with popcorn and everything and maybe show a couple movies in their house and everybody gathers around to do that? Yes. Okay. I told them to think of non-internet things. So those are the things they, they both thought of. I like them. I like them both. Maybe we'll do them before the summer's over. I want to quickly say uh, a, a little plug for my pastor's new book. If you are somebody who's been hurt by church or has ever been hurt by a churchy person or a Christian, you're going to probably uh, appreciate this book. It is called Why We Eat Our Own by my pastor, Michael Cheshire, and he really gets real about the ways in which Christians hurt each other, the way in which they judge each other, the way in tr- churches hurt people, and people walk away from the church, away from Christianity because they've been hurt by it. Well, even if you go to church... Yeah. Think about maybe ways you've hurt people. I'm people. sure I have. Yeah. yeah. And he, he tells the stories, but then welcomes you back, reminds you that it's not God that hurts you. It was the people in front of him. So I recommend, you can order it on Amazon, Michael Cheshire's new book, Why We Eat Our Own.